Oh, the balls. Hi, welcome to Sky Sports coverage of the new Scottish Premier League. I'm Jim White, and we'll have live coverage of Scotland's top ten clubs with expert analysis from Charlie Nicholas. So basically, it's the same old pish as Scott Sport, <laughs> only now you have to pay for it. Simon Donnelly had sold a challenge. Oh, Give me a play. I tell you, how he found the time to play football and star in the film Titanic. <laughs> you, know, you see him? You know, you see him? Yeah. I'm king of the world, king of the world. <laughs> that was me, Simon. Yeah. Was it? <laughs> hmm? Was Joseph Vengoff's first choice? No way. Hey, I'm telling you. Celtic like were in such a mess. Even the man from Del Monte said no. <laughs> <laughs> Paducah. I never had one. You get them in your feet, right? Well, yeah. Ah, uh, Mark of Paducah, he's, uh, he's a big lad, you know. He's, uh, he's a good lad. He's, uh, he's an all-round diamond geezer, you know. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, when you look at him, you know, you've just got to ask yourself, really, uh, how did he pull a bird like that? Eh? <laughs> Uh, no, no, I, uh, I think that this club is moving forward now. The, we have we have won cup uh, for the fans, and uh, right now I'm, I'm very pleased because it's not easy getting together uh, Scottish, Italian, uh, German, Finns, and, and Dutch, and, and and teaching them all the sash. <laughs> well, obviously, totally, in the present moment, I've just been told that we've sold Duncan Ferguson. This is obviously a time for particular calm, sensible thought. So I've asked the chairman for an official square goal. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Duncan Ferguson, I believe, uh, will bring many, many things to St. James's Park uh, also. He will bring, actually, uh, his goals also. He will bring, uh, we hope, a little passion. And uh, also, he will bring uh, his pigeons. <laughs> well, to be honest, uh, I was very disappointed when I when I checked into this clinic because uh, there's no mini bar in my room. <laughs> I'm absolutely starving, and they they've given me nothing to eat. Although they 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 promised me loads of cold turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say something here? Yeah, for sure. I've been quite impressed with some of the new ideas they're bringing in to improve football. For example, blowing footballs so that the players can't miss them in the snow or the fog. Maybe Celtic should have introduced them ages ago for Harold Bratback. <laughs> blowing balls? What a night that was. <laughs> well, as you can probably hear in the background, some of the that's sober of the Tartan Army uh, making their presence felt and uh, getting up to their usual good spirited hijinks. They really are a bunch of characters, and uh, would you go along with that, William Gordon? Ah, uh, well, uh, <laughs> William Gordon have obviously gone off to prepare for the match uh, behind that, uh, that barricade they're erecting over there, and I believe we can see that now, can we? No, we can't. Check. Eho! Totally formidable, magnifique, quintro, beu, geste, chanson d'amour, Clouseau, champs Elysees, papillon, fujo, joie de vivre, coco van, coco de neuf, Charlie de Gaulle, je suis tué, il est, elle. McPherson, Nicole, Papa, Barry Ferguson, uh, Bonjour, Bonsoir, Je m'appelle Chick, and this is the first of my special reports from France. So for me, it's au revoir. <coughs> what? Hi, sir. Look, I've been too busy today to interviews. I've, I've been acclimatised to the baby, for God's sake. <laughs> Listen, Molly, you see that wee bird that was giving me that? Hey, smudge your hot dog away from me, right? <laughs> hmm? Scotland? Well, uh, incredibly unlucky in the opening game of the World Cup, I thought, against Brazil. What can you say? 
Mm. I mean, I felt extremely sorry for the, uh, the luckless Boyd scoring that own goal. Uh, of course, as a consequence of that, uh, Tom had a lot in common with Des Lynham, you know. Uh, they both scored howlers in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a marvellous first World Cup semi-final, and I'll be back with the second semi uh, right after a visit to Neighbours. <laughs> Ref! Ref! Our goalie was near ready! <laughs> Oops, so easy. Is that a red card? Oh, what do you make of that? That's got nothing to do with the foul! That's to do with the haircut! If you look like an Ed, you'll get treated like one! Oh! That's it. On, on you go, David Weir. Use your pace. Use your... Oh, oh. Hard lines, James Leighton. <laughs> Good dive, James. It's a pity we're not playing best man's fall. <laughs> nice turn, Thomas Boyd. <laughs> Offside ref. <laughs> oh, Alexander. Uh, yes, in many ways I can understand uh, David Beckham perfectly well. I mean, you know, he's uh, well, it's every young English lad's dream, isn't it, to uh, to have a kick at an Argentinian? <laughs> David Beckham, young soccer superstar, model and fiancé to one of the Spice Girls. David, you really are a lucky wee shite, aren't you? <laughs> pardon? Uh, oh, uh, sorry, David, uh, ignore me, just... Just thinking out loud. Uh, let's get down to football business. What's she like, eh? I mean, uh, what, what's that like, uh, playing in the sack? I mean, uh, the current Man United bed? I mean, squad. Uh, well, yeah, it's great, really. Uh, uh, David, after the World Cup, when, when you were an absolute embarrassment to your country and, and got red carded, I mean, you basically cost England the World Cup. I mean. You blew it for them big time, and, and see when I was watching it, I very near pushed myself laughing <laughs> on behalf of Scotland. Uh, thanks very much, by the way. But when you returned home to humiliation, vilification, and, and severe pelters, did it did it put you off your nookie? I mean, uh, <laughs> your football? Uh, no, not really. Uh... I still wanted to play football, um, but I was exhausted and um, I just wanted to lie down. I bet you did. And uh, take stock of my life, really, and some of the things that the press was saying about me at that time, you know, they, they was really... Um, um... Aye, 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 very good. Uh, but so, what's she like, eh? Spicy, posh, Victoria. Has she got a sister? I mean... That's one Adam's family. I wouldn't mean getting it, you know. Yeah, well, I, I think you'd fit in very well with the Adam's family. Really? Why is that? Because you look like Uncle Fester. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, all right. So, uh, finally, David, I bet you think you're great, eh? I bet you think you're just the dog's bollocks, eh? <laughs> Aye, well... This boy's no impressed for one. Okay, dokie. Just cos you're winching a spice girl. So, what? Look, I came here, right, to do a serious interview, and all you've done, yeah, is you've made grubby comments about my future wife. So that's enough, okay? Okay, okay. Sorry, David, you're right. We'll end it there, all right? All right, Billy? Right, thank, thanks for your time. <clears throat> okay, that's us finished. How many fans you going up, Vicky's? Hey, uh, what did he say? What? <laughs> Highlights uh, from the opening ceremony there for you then. And uh, this afternoon we had giant hedge hoppers, exploding flowers, insects on stilts, cockerels on uh, bungee jumps, trampolining vegetables, fellas. So, uh, anybody have any idea what it was all about? Hmm? Alan? Not a clue. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Made perfect sense to you. 
Yes, I, I can confirm that James Layton has announced he's quitting Scotland, but uh, let me just say this was not an act of childish petulance. It was a professional decision, although I'm still hoping I can persuade him to reconsider. James, can we talk about this? No. How no? Cause. Will you come out for a Cadbury's cookie? A wee biscuit? Come on. You want to go for a burger and chips? OK, Gordon, uh, talk us numpties through it, eh? Oh, dear, a giant spider has invaded the pitch. <laughs> All right, Gordon. Yes, thank you. Well, I mean, there's too, there's too many foreigners in our game just now. I mean, you, you know, you, you, too many. I mean, you can't make out a word they're saying. You know, you can't. It's ridiculous. And it's not, it's not just the big clubs, no. I mean, what about that foreign chap at Dunfermline? French Hamish. <laughs> well, I think it's very brave for a high-profile footballer like Dennis Bergkamp, who, let's face it, is not afraid to mix it with the best of them to say that he's frightened of flying. Very brave. Very brave indeed. <laughs> um, Big Pierre is, is, is just... Big Pierre. I mean, he's the same at uh, Nottingham Forest Football Club uh, as he was at Celtic Football Club. But I'm, I'm sure now that he's, he's settled his differences, he'll, he'll, he'll be given total commitment to his club. At least till the end of this programme. <laughs> Some news just in. Chick Charnley is out of football for a month after being injured during a match in Ireland. The opposition player who made the tackle is currently under the witness protection scheme. <laughs> well, that's the subtle texture of such Corinthian confectionery salivates the palate with all its cocoa and splendour, then... One has no other course but contemplating self deverment Or, put it another way, yes, if I was chocolate, I would eat myself. <laughs> I know for certainty that many managers in England think me of a Mickey Mouse League up here. Apart from Everton, where I'm sure Walt Disney. <laughs> Come on, OK, I think... To be fair, it's great that there's a bit of humour in the game now. You know, a, a, a bit of a laugh. It's, it's as important to have a bit of a laugh and, and in actual fact to have players that can make you laugh in the changing room, you know, as it is to have ones who can do it for you out on the pitch. And to be fair, that's one of the reasons I'd like to sign Steve McManaman. Steve says he wants £50,000 a week. That's the biggest joke I've heard for a long time. <laughs> that's great. The boy's got a sense of humour. Predictions. <laughs> It's a hard thing to say. I mean, it's not as if, you know, well, to put it another way, what I'm saying is, OK, I mean, look at it this way. You know, I'll, I'll say this at times like these, and, and I'll give them that. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, big man, definitely. I mean, I'm absolutely convinced that one day I will complete a sentence. <laughs> OK, seriously, everyone likes a bit of money. So do I. We all do. But it's not all about money, is it? Hmm? In all fairness, I could have gone to Leeds United. Great, big club, more money. But to be fair to me, other things are more important than money, in all honesty. Like, like loyalty, you know? And, 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 and being close to Leicester Town Centre, uh, you know? And, and, and saying, uh, to be fair, uh, uh, in all honesty. And in all honesty, uh, to be fair. <laughs> you know, I tell you, I, personally, you know, I have to say, you know, I love the Jambos. I mean, yeah, the sensational there. Uh, they're much better than Paul Weller's solo stuff, you know. <laughs> uh, and, it's, and of course, uh, as for Hearts, you know, the, well, they had that, that terrible problem, you know, with, with you know, the goalposts in Mallorca. Mm. Gio's Russi was between them, you know? <laughs> so, you know, hey, I'm going on here. To answer your question, you've been very patient, to be fair to you. My answer, uh, yes, 1-0. <laughs> We tried that Viagra. <laughs> Shocker, Rooney. It's like reading a nudie book, even when you earn it. I mean, what was I like? You could have hung a wet crombie on it, you know? <laughs> Obviously, uh, I don't need this stuff, you know? Me being a 
I'm mad rumpering at, you know, but uh, I mean, I'm sort of compelled by by the law of matter to give artificial stimulants a wee blast. <laughs> I'll only be taking it again, though, because uh, the labels in the bottles aren't they very clear. It said, take 30 minutes before sex. I thought it said, take 30 <laughs> minutes before sex. <laughs> I'm telling you, I was bent double for a fortnight. <laughs> I just can't understand why anyone involved in football would want to take drugs. It's so exciting as it is. <laughs> no, I mean, there seems to be a little confusion uh, here. Uh, Marco Viduca, you know, he did not refuse a dope test. Uh, what happened was, in actual fact, he was asked for a sample of urine and uh, he gave him one of my team talks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, when I left uh, Paul Gascoigne out, I said it might help, you know, if he turned to God. Um, it would also connect Spurs even more to England because then uh, Spurs would have had a Christian gross and uh, we'd have had a gross Christian. <laughs> Yeah, I'm hearing a lot of chalk. Uh, Paul Gascoigne has uh, stopped drinking my beast and uh, has had to check into a drying out clinic. But uh, personally, I think that uh, this is just a rumour put about uh, to discredit him. <laughs> it's no bad in here. It's no bad. It's, uh, it's a Polo de Canio suite. <laughs> I don't want you to be no slave. Work all day, but I want you to be true, and I just want to make love to you. Love to you. Ooh, love to you. Well, I cannot understand you, Scottish. Um, if a Frenchman uh, exposed himself to two young women in an alley, uh, he would be arrested. Um, when a Scotsman does it, uh, he's given a plate of porridge. <laughs> Bizarre. <laughs> I know a lot has changed at Rangers in recent years. But believe me, Neil McCann is a very, very, very significant signing. I mean, Rangers buying a Scotsman. <laughs> Paul? Lambo, the bonus row rumbles on. What are the players doing to defuse this crisis? Hopefully, please tell me nothing. <laughs> Smell the glove. Great. You do realise, don't you, Lambsy, that uh, Fergus says you're a bunch of greedy wee chancers. If I was you, I'd demand a transfer. Go on, I'll back you up. Smell the glove. See this glove? Do the players smell it when you're out training? Do you smell your own gloves or do you, do you swap around? Who's got the smelliest? Does Harold Bratback have trouble finding his gloves? Do you hide his in the goals? I suppose Simon Donnelly doesn't have gloves. He'll have mittens and string. Smell the glove. I tell you, Paul, you and the rest of the squad have totally blown it for Celtic, and on behalf of the majority of my colleagues in the press and media, thanks a lot, big man. <laughs> seriously, though, seriously, Modern McLeod is a great personal friend of mine. He was in Germany too, as was I in Germany, with Bayern in Munich in Germany. And Modern <laughs> definitely could do the same job for Wenglis as he did for Janssen. If he could just get out with his curling tongs. I'm sorry, man, I couldn't resist it. Come in. I'm sorry, it's locked. Um, no, it's not. Uh, just put 20p in the slot. Ah, oh, Mr. Keenan. I'd like to hire a chair. Uh, OK. That's uh, 50p, thank you. Now, uh, how can I help? It's about this 
ongoing win bonus row. Fergus, I put it to you that... Oh, listen, would you like some water? Uh, well, <laughs> yes, please. Uh, how much does it cost? <laughs> Mr. Keevan, I mean, I mean, you, I mean, what do you take me for? Do you charge for water? I mean, what do you, what do you think I am? It's a pound. <laughs> But I thought that you said water is free. Oh, yeah, the water's free. It's a pound for the hire of the glass. <laughs> Fergus, about this bonus row. Well, Hugh, to be perfectly honest, uh, I'm, I'm very disappointed with the players. Why? Well, all, all, they, all they seem to be interested in is, is making money. Yeah, I don't know, really. Um, yeah, despite some poor results um, this season, you know, the team spirit at the club still very good. Um, at the Christmas bash this year, you know, um, only Reggie Blinker didn't come. And um, that's because it was a bring-your-own-bottle thing and uh, he lost his in Croatia. <laughs> was I upset? Well... That depends on what your interpretation of the word wanker is. <laughs> Jock, you're resigned. <laughs> Kenny, uh, will you and Jim Kerr be buying Celtic? Maybe he's I. Maybe he's no. Kenny, will you be pouring millions into the club for new signings? Can we? Can no be? Well, there you are. You heard it first and exclusively here on Radio Clyde. Absolutely nothing. I think to be perfectly voracious, it would be prudent of the main protagonists in this tawdry saga to reiterate exactly what imbued them in the primordial instance to indulge in this ill-advised peregrination when alternatives were available without recourse to such grandiose outbursts. And I'm sure that's exactly what the ordinary fan is thinking. Will I be back at Celtic Park again? Well, yes, if I'm invited. Aye, oh, that'll be right. <laughs> we, uh, we have all worked um, hard and, and uh, that is is good to to see team play well and, and uh, exciting uh, I I get real luck from from this uh, this team play well is uh, is big big high with adrenaline and, and enjoyable and then also very, very exciting. It, it makes me... Champions. Uh, Celtic Football Club. One word answer. Celtic Football Club is one word. Champions Celtic, dithering with all the other teams, Rangers went out and snapped up a priceless Dutch master whose artistry and wallet would quickly blend a bunch of unmotivated mercenaries into a football team with guile, astuteness, know-how and rudeness, Advoca looks like being the man to put Rangers back on top again. So, Hazel, do you like Dick? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, sure. I mean, Colin Henry is, is very important role in, in Rangers' defence. It's always uh, his job to mark the danger man. Amoruso. <laughs> the event is interested in Amoruso. Why? Have they got a volleyball team? <laughs> eh? Food, uh, what they eat, you know, is a joke. Uh, Charlie Miller, he say, come, we eat. Uh, I say, what we eat? He say, on the way home, we go pasta. I think he mean we go to Italian restaurant, but he mean we go pasta kebab shop. Uh. 
Europeanly speaking for myself, mouthwise, it was imperative that what happened before past wise be forgotten. If Rangers were going to compete successfully, game wise, we have Parmas. Sadly, this was not to be regret wise, but they can still remember memorably the Leverkusens. Vorsprung durch Charlie Nick. <laughs> Yeah, sure, uh, the return of, uh, you, you know, the, that uh, Chilean boy who visits us. Uh... You mean Sebastian Rosenthal? Yes, um, him. Uh, he, will, he will be of, of great assets uh, to Rangers, uh, particularly at free kicks. Because of his shooting power? No, I mean uh, free kicks against us. Uh, his arse is the size of a wall. Well, obviously, I... I keep hearing, particularly at the, at the present moment, about the Canva car. How strict and disciplined he is, and how tactically aware, and how far he took Rangers in Europe. And, you know, as the previous Rangers manager, I just like to say, at least I never get gubbed 5 1 by Celtic. <laughs> Charlie, mate, I've got to ask you what about that League Cup final aftermath? Regrettably, it was regrettable. I mean, Charlie, the reporting of the Rangers boys for giving it Yahoo with the sash, is this all down to a fluke one-off, i.e. a policeman who was actually a Tim? <laughs> who can say for certainty? Charlie, what about Fergie and all that talk about taking the cup back from Celtic and it being even better doing it at Celtic Park? I mean... Isn't that going to enrage the Celtic fans? Hopefully. <laughs> it's understandable for Fergie to say as much. Through and through, hun-wise, Fergie is a Rangers man. Quality blue nose, top dob, and people respect this. After all, we all know Ian Ferguson is a Protestant, because he looks like one. <laughs> I'll tell you a true story. Woman walks into a bar. I get off with her. Oh, That's the way it happened. And the BAFTA Scotland Award for Best Comedy goes to when England met Argentina. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, maybe he's, you know John Gorman's in a great position because. Uh, being assistant manager of the England team and being a Scotsman, you know, if, uh, if they win, then he gets a bonus. And uh, if they lose, just pisses himself laughing. <laughs> Can I just say something here? The Scottish Premier League is not a Mickey Mouse League. It's bigger than that. It's a Hammy the Hamster League. Television news and some glad tidings at last for the long-suffering Aberdeen fans. The Dons have struck a massive deal with Grampian not to show any of their games. <laughs> yeah, of course I still enjoy uh, management, you know. I mean, every Friday night I sit down and uh, I write the names of the 11 players that I want to see uh, also on the park the next day. Um, and then I pick the Newcastle team. <laughs> Have I noticed any significant changes since I left Newcastle? Stephen Glass has lost his plugs. <laughs> well, it, uh, El Nino has cost billions. Now, that's the sort of player I want to see with Francis <laughs> 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 They don't do things good, Ranger. Uh, I remember being on the bus and guess guy he was he was very drunk, uh, very pissed, uh, which was upsetting, you know, be, especially as as he was driving the bus at the time. Um, I don't know really. Yeah, I suppose it was. Uh... Pretty envious of Tosh McKinley being invited to Buckingham Palace with the rest of the Scotland squad and that. Um, and Tosh told us, like, you know, that when he was introduced to the Queen, she asked him, you know, who he was and who he played for and that. Um, so, in other words, you know, it's just the same as what Dr. Joe says to him every morning at Celtic. 
Everything is fine. Stay tuned then, some uh, hot football action coming up. Coventry have been a bit up and down this season, but uh, haven't we all? <laughs> Hello, Paul. Yes, Paul. Well, Paul, I know the man's recently been taking quality pelters, but maybe it's time Celtic re-evaluated Tommy Boyd. I mean, not everybody can say they scored a winning goal for Brazil at the World Cup Finals. <laughs> You're through to Craig Brown. I'm not in right now. I'm away for a sauna with Claudia Schiffer. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. But seriously, if you want an upbeat quote regarding yet another dismal Scotland performance, press one. If you're a squad goalkeeper wishing to resign from the squad, press two. If you would like me to get you something from the shops, press three. If you're Colin Calderwood, I've emigrated to Australia. <laughs> Please give generously to Chairman and Marie. And remember, all the money raised in Scotland stays in the bank. <laughs> Hello. I hear there's a job going. 